Hello everyone, this is Kimberly here. Welcome to A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. Today I am in my kitchen again, cleaning up after our virtual party, the celebration of reaching 30,000 plus subscribers, as well as our eighth year on YouTube. For those that attended the party, Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you so much for taking time out of your day to celebrate our journey and this milestone. Like I said, I'm in my kitchen cleaning up from the party. My family and I truly enjoyed uh, the celebration after we went off air, we continued on by eating dinner. Um, we sat around and talked and we always end up playing some type of game. <laughs> and that goes on for hours and hours. So I'm going to put something in the community chat, some photos that we took and you can go there to see uh, the after party pictures, <laughs> but yes, um, I'm cleaning up my kitchen, trying to get it back to normal. <laughs> In this video today, I will be placing a few more Valentine ish decor items out as well as styling out my coffee bar or my coffee station for Valentine's 2023. So let me finish washing some of these dishes as well as placing some in my dishwasher and we will continue on. So this is how my kitchen is in the present state. I just need to put all these things away from the party. And here's my coffee station or my coffee bar. I'm just gonna tweak it a bit to add some Valentine decor to it. Now I purchased these bubble gum containers, I think last year <laughs> from Target. I think they are super cute. Uh, usually I will add candy to it for my grandson. But this year I'm going to use them for my cream or my creamer and sugar for my coffee. I still have a few Christmas items as you can see like the mugs and those canisters. So yes, it's definitely time to change these out. These are my to-go cups. So I'm saying bye-bye to those, but we'll be bringing back some Valentine to-go cups later. I'm gonna remove the rest of these mugs off of this two-tiered stand. So I'm gonna keep this tiered stand on my coffee bar, as well as those apothecary jars that you see to the left. Again, I'm just gonna tweak this to make it look 
perfect for Valentine's Day. I'm placing my blessed sign back up. I am having an issue with command hooks. I cannot believe it, but uh, I cannot keep this sign hung on my tile for some reason. <laughs> but anywho, I'm going into my cabinets and I'm bringing out these black and white striped mugs that I already had from Hobby Lobby. I am hoping Hobby Lobby gets these in again because I did break one of them. I had a set of six. Now I'm down to five. <laughs> uh, this sugar bowl that you see also came from Hobby Lobby last year or the year before, but I'm not using it for the sugar bowl purpose. I'm using it as a small vessel to hold these beautiful red roses. Now the apothecary jars, you know my signature thing is to tie some ribbon around them. I'm just gonna change out these ribbons on them. And here we are going with the black and white polka dot and adding my totally dazzled bling. I am affiliated with Totally Dazzle, so the link will be listed in my description box down below for you to take a look at their website. They will not disappoint. I also tied some ribbon, XOXO ribbon from Dollar Tree around my bubblegum machine slash canisters. <laughs> I'm tweaking the two-tiered stand a bit, placing my floral vessel to the left and I'm bringing out this beautiful sign that I picked up last year from Dollar Tree. I don't know if they have them again this year but I'm, I'm sure they have some beautiful signs. They always have them this time of year. Dollar Tree also had my travel to go cups and I place these in a utensil caddy Now I also will be adding these glass straws to my coffee bar once I wash them. I pick those up from Aldi and I will be placing them in this straw container that I picked up from Amazon a while ago. Anything that I can list will be listed in my description box down below. The spoon rest also came from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> And I usually use the spoon rest to place my spoon on when we make our coffee. And guys, here is my coffee station for Valentine's Day 2023. Thank you.
Now, as you can see, I added a few treats to have with some coffee or tea. And that's one of my favorites, the red velvet cupcakes. <laughs> Now guys, few more touches of Valentine. I picked these beautiful kitchen towels up from Marshalls. They were $9.99 for a pack of three. Now I'll place one of them on my dishwasher. The other one on my range and the black one I will put away for another day. Now to add to my range, I'm gonna add this beautiful heart candle. I also had that last year. Picked it up, I think, from Home Goods. I'm gonna place it here and light it. And when I light my candle, that tells you I'm pretty much finished. But before I go, let me share with you what my oldest son's girlfriend bought me. I call her my daughter. She blessed me with some beautiful red roses, my favorites. <laughs> so I'm gonna place them in a vase. They smell so, so good. And they are so, so pretty. So thank you, Tori, for my beautiful roses. I absolutely love them. Now, I'm not going to place them in my kitchen. I'm going to place them on a cabinet in my entryway so everyone can enjoy them. But here is how my kitchen looks, all put back together. <laughs> I'm loving it, loving all of the Valentine decor in it, in the black and white with pops of red. Uh, I'm looking at this now and you know I'm gonna tweak it some more, <laughs> but you will see that on the Valentine's home tour. I do have to put that dispenser away once it dries. But other than that, my kitchen is good and ready for the next use. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad that you are here and I hope you decide to stay by clicking that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. I can be followed on other social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and I have an Amazon store where you can shop for beautiful home decor, home essentials, personal items, and more. All of those links can be found in my description box down below. And if you are a faithful and returning ABH family member, you already know how I feel about you. I love you guys so much, and I am truly blessed that you are a part of our blessed and amazing family. Thank you so much for watching. 
You take care, you be blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Please be safe out there, and I will talk to you real, real soon. Love you guys.